By 1992, Celine Dion had fallen in love with her manager, René Angelil. Not only was he older, he was twice divorced with children of his own. I was forced to go for it. I said, you know what? You should. You're 19 years old. You know, you're allowed loving who you want. And one day, he was a free man. I was becoming a woman, you know. And it was a kiss goodnight, and it was like, bye, thanks. It was different. Her mother was not thrilled about this at first. Um, she definitely had some concerns about the fact that he was older and he was divorced. She did come around probably six months, a year, something like that, when she realized that he only had the best intentions for her. You know, he was not using her in any way. He had really devoted his life to her. And I guess it was as soon as she realized he was not going to break her heart. This was the only man she ever kissed in her life. I just, I find that phenomenal. But it was difficult for the couple to be happy. Renee and Celine worried their age difference was too much for the public to handle. Renee was very scared that this was going to affect her career negatively. He was worried that the public was not going to like the fact that she was with an older man and that it was her manager. When people would ask her questions, you know, so are you single? Is there any love in your life? And things like that. And she was dying to say, yes, there is. And she couldn't say that. So, you know, she was kind of having to, to keep something secret, which is not in her nature. She's such an open person. In 1993, Celine went public with a love affair the best way she knew how, in song. She wanted to yell to the world. She wanted to scream to everybody, this is what it is. And The Color of My Love became, obviously, that big statement. There's one song, The Color of My Love, on that album that um, is one of my favorites, and I dedicate this song to him. We're talking about an artist who was squeaky clean, more or less never been associated with so much as, you know, lighting a cigarette. So. Here she's admitting that she's in love with a man that's more than two decades older than her. You would think that had the potential to be, uh, to, to be viewed as somewhat scandalous. Renee was waiting to see how people were going to react, and he was very pleasantly surprised to find out that her fans, there was no big reaction to it. There was no, you know, oh my goodness, she's with an older man and he's divorced. There was none of that. People were supportive and it wasn't a huge issue in the press or anything. We're all very happy about what's happened to Renee and Celine and Renee loves Celine and Celine loves Renee. On her 25th birthday, she said yes to Renee's proposal of marriage. It's a great love story. It's a beautiful love story. I was lucky to organize the, the wedding for them. I only ask her, what do you want? She said, I want a fairy tale. December 17, 1994, was an unforgettable day for the city of Montreal, Quebec. <laughs> Fans screamed wildly outside the church for Quebec's royal couple. It was incredible. Traffic was stopped. It was, uh, it was a big day for Canada. The dress, I remember the dress. The dress like went on forever. And she was very proud she didn't cry because the press used to say that she was always crying <laughs> for a while when she was winning trophies or when something good happened she was crying but at her wedding she was perfect and you know what is fantastic about him he is as impressed by her that he was years ago you could think of anybody else being with celine and you could I don't think really think of anybody else being with Renee. And they're really, really a, a fantastic couple too. Laughing a lot. She's teasing him all the time. They were a team. They were, they were meant for each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy, 